Okay, so we just talked about reference types. If you did not watch that video, definitely go back and check it out because it's really important for this video. So we're talking about const. We saw const early on when we defined variables. We saw we could use let. Let x equals 34. We can change x at any point. x is now going to be five more. We just incremented x and it did change. If we instead use const to define our variable, constant, we'll go with const city equals, how about Lisbon? City is now set to Lisbon. And if I change it, city equals London. Not okay. You cannot reassign or give a new value to a const. So up until this point, really the only use case for it has been things like this, const pi equals 3.14159, where we know something is not going to change. But that's about to change because as we just saw, arrays are reference types, which means that the actual array data is not the content that is stored in the slot in memory for each variable. Instead, it is a reference. So as long as the reference doesn't change, the internals, the insides of an array can change, even if you're using const. So here's an example. We have an array called my eggs, and it's two items long, brown and brown. There's two brown eggs. And this is a representation of what it would look like, where the variable my eggs is referencing, it's pointing to some content or to the actual array with all the values in it. But this pointer is what is not supposed to change. This has to stay constant. What happens over here doesn't matter because the only thing stored in my eggs is the reference. So we could change it. We can now add in to my eggs. We can push. Even though it's const, it's not let, we use const, we can still change the contents because we're not updating or altering this reference. One more time, I could set my eggs of zero to be green change the first value in there. I'm manipulating values, I'm adding in, I could empty out the array, as long as I don't reassign my eggs to some other array, which is what I did right here. I said my eggs equals a new array with blue and pink. Not allowed, I would get this error, assignment to constant variable, because we changed the reference. The arrow used to be pointing to this array in memory, but then I said, ah, forget that one, my eggs is now a new array. And so it's pointing to this array now, it doesn't even get that far because it throws an error, but this is visually what could be happening behind the scenes. And you're not allowed to do that with const. You cannot change that reference. But again, you can change anything inside that array as long as you don't sever that one tie, that arrow. So we can play around with that. As we saw with a variable, if we did pi and we tried to change pi, we can't do that. Pi is now 45, not allowed. I can't do pi plus equals one, can't do that. But if we're working with an array, let's go with foods, and it starts with milk. That's the only item in there. I can do whatever I want with the foods array, with the content in here, I can empty it out. I can push onto it, so let's push. Foods.push, chocolate, no problem. It works, because the reference is staying the same. Foods dot, let's do an unshift. Uh, milk, chocolate, how about tortillas? Oh, need to make sure I can spell foods. And there we go, we've updated foods. I could remove everything from there. Foods.pop three times. And we still have the same reference, even though it's completely empty, the actual array itself. The reference or that arrow is unchanged. But I cannot do this. Foods equals a new array. Definitely cannot do that. Even though it's already an empty array, I'm making a new empty array here, which means a new arrow, a new place in memory, or a new reference, not allowed. So foods is the original empty array, and I can, again, add on to it, I can do whatever I want. Now, because of this behavior, because arrays are reference types, const is used all the time when we work with arrays. All the time, far more often than let, Unless you have some good reason that your variable would need to point to different, entirely different arrays, most of the time, you just need a variable for your array, and the array might change, but you're not going to just point to some new array. It's possible, I'm not saying that you could only use const for the rest of your life with arrays, but you'll see the majority of the array variables in the real world, in tutorials, most of them will be done with const. So from here on out, that's what I'll be doing most of the time, unless there's a good reason to use let. 
And then when we're working with primitive types, things like numbers, I'll use const when appropriate, but a lot of the time we need let if those values need to change. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video for reference types. Again, we can change the internals of the array. We just can't point to a new array or to a string out of nowhere or to a Boolean. It has to be that one reference in memory.